For England, Triscothic Knight, Vaughan Hussein Stewart and Collingwood, the main batsman. The all-rounders, Flintoff, White and Irani. Irani playing instead of Ashton Giles, Masai, that played at Cape Town the other day. And then Andy Caddick and James Anderson. So, those are the teams. Let's see what happens in the Indian innings. Well, a lot rests on the shoulders, certainly of Sachin Tendulkar, yet again. The little master, as he's known, he's certainly been masterful in this tournament. Virendra Sewag, the highest score of 126. He's been shorter runs in the tournament, but he's made runs before against England. A real stroke maker. Sometimes very hard to tell these two men apart when they're at the crease together. They play in much the same sort of manner, same sort of build. That's well played. Nicely turned off his legs. It's a quick outfield. And the first boundary of the game, Tendulkar on his way. Well, he's kissed it, he's caressed it, and he's just eased it through the leg side. Oh, he's gone for it. And just out of the reach of fine leg. Tendulkar just losing balance as he played it. Well, he's gone after that one, and he doesn't need to run. That's spanked for the offside and a boundary to end the over, 24 for no loss. And that's another four. Well, it's an unusual experience for James Anderson, an expensive over, 16 runs from it. It's 42 without loss. That's whipped away, two full into the legs. Well, the good start from England, it's been undone by the Indian batsman. Well, I think he knew that uh, there would be a response. He was there, in his back foot waiting for it. And what a way to bring up the 50. Well, I must tell you, BP, this is a, a very different Tendulkar that I'm seeing today off late. He hasn't batted in this fashion. Well, that's tumbled away. There was no real pace in that delivery. It was, uh, I have to say, put there rather than bold and dispatched. Leading edge, and out. That's what England needed. The best way to slow down the run rate, take wickets. So, uh, leading edge. Well, just what the England captain needed, a break. And it's come in the shape of Virendra Sehwag. Short of length delivery, and Sehwag will be disappointed with the shot. I think it's a bit too early into the shot. Angling in, so he was looking to play on the leg side, getting the high part of the bat as well, so the bounce as well, as some movement of the ball pitch. Counting for Sehwag's dismissal, he's gone for 23, and India 60 for one. Paul, chase him under 44, 15 from the over, it's 75 for one. Tendulkar seeking that 50 now. He's got it. That's a good shot. Well, Ganguly now finds his timing as well. Got him. That will make all the difference to England. It's Flintoff who's done the damage for the second time today. The drinks break. Might just have done something to the concentration of Sachin Tendulkar, but if there is a weakness, that's where it is. Well, there you go. How many times we've seen it in the past that after a drinks break, the batsman who's playing so well can lose concentration. And a big, big wicket here for England. Tendulkar, who was going along so well, extra bounce there that's done the trick. Tendulkar unable to keep it down. England will take that. Two wickets for Flintoff. Tendulkar departs for 50. 91 for two. Oh. That's the problem with this line. You cannot go wide. That is too wide. That relieves the pressure that had been built. Not sure I agree with this bowling change. Not at this stage. Hoisted down the ground, but this could well be out. It is out. The pressure has worked. 
And Sarah Ganguly has gone, the captain. Craig White picks up the wicket. Well, you said no one's tried to take it on. Picked the wrong ball. I think he's got right at the bottom of the bat. He's usually so strong there, Ganguly, but it's Craig White back into the attack, around the wicket, long shot. He knows there he's in trouble. Here's Triscothic. Keeps his eye on the ball, not England's fastest mover, but a safe pair of hands, and that's another big wicket for England. India's captain has gone for 19, 107 for three. That's four runs. It's the first time, really, that uh, Andrew Flintoff has bowled anything that might be considered like a bad ball. And it's certainly the first time that Dinesh Mongir has looked convincing. That has found a way to it. It's uh, Dravid's first boundary. Well, that's well struck. He's taken the risk, gone over the top, and got the boundary. So, welcome boundary here for Dinesh Mongia. <laughs> Looking to work it on the onside, the finger goes up. Good change of pace from Collingwood. Has done the trick for England, and uh, the partnership that India were looking to build on has been broken. And now it's not a good innings. Now that he's gone, Mongi, he's dwelt at the wicket, and it's Collingwood of all people. Little dinky medium pace. The lines are in. It pitches in the lines. It holds its line. It's hitting right on the knee ball. It's going nowhere other than middle. Paul Collingwood snares one for England. Dinesh Mongi. As finished for India, 32, 155 for four. Yuvraj Singh, the new man out there for the Indians, 64 matches for him. He's a good striker of the ball, good strike rate as well, over 80. He's done exactly that, no need to run for that. He's such a clean striker. And that's sailed into the crowd, over mid on. Walked away on the onside, and he'll get the boundary. Caddick isn't happy, but just drifting onto leg stump. Right, he's given himself room. Craig White stayed over the wicket. That surprised me. The four brings up the 200, but I'd thought he'd have gone over the, around the wicket and tried to tuck him up around leg stump. Oh, that's fine. That's clever batting. I think the, I, and I'm not happy with the line. I think he should be around the wicket and bowling up and into middle and leg. Well, Yuvraj Singh went the other way this time. Slower ball, and he's spotted it. He's clubbed it. He's got four for it. That's the wicket. That's what they wanted. The change has worked. The captain takes the catch. James Anderson. Back among the wickets. Uraj Singh's innings comes to an end, but it's been a good one for India. 42 from just 38 balls. The innings drawing to a close. Not too many overs left, not too many balls left, but this is a big wicket for Nasir Hussain. Coming round the wicket, Uraj Singh couldn't get the room that he was looking for with Craig White, who was bowling over the wicket, trying to make room to play on the offside. Reasonably struck, but in the air, just enough for Nasir Hussain to take a good catch. Good contribution, 42 to Yuvraj Singh, he scored 217 for five. And this is clubbed away, and that's four more. Well, well, Dravid. He started it, Mohamed K. Hit high in the air, should be out. Is out. Andrew Flintoff takes the simplest of catches. Mohamed K. His little flurry comes to an end. It doesn't matter. There's only three balls left. It's again a length ball from Andy Caddick. And Mohamed Kev was looking for that space behind the short mid-wicket fielder or other mid-wicket fielder inside the circle. Just getting high on the bat. And that's been a feature of India's batting. A lot of batsmen getting the ball a bit higher on the bat. It's the extra bounce here in Durban. Simple catch to Flintoff. Kev had no choice. But to go for the big one. Gone for five, India 250 for six. 
Slow ball, that could be out. It is. Two wickets and two balls. Rob's have it. Well, he'll feel unlucky. He hit that probably cleaner than he's hit anything all day. He just hit it hard and flat. And picked out Paul Collingwood at long on. Well, this game's good at all. We could have a hat trick as well. You've got to feel for Dravid because that came out the middle of the bat. He hasn't got too many in the middle of the bat. Again, it's the length delivery, the slow ball, and looking to heave it much wider than it actually went. And straight down the throat, the long on fielder. Collingwood won't drop that. But such an important innings for India. 62, gets an ovation, a well deserved one. 250 for seven, India. Slow ball, and that's run out. Alex Stewart. You can't fault his skittle skill. Slower ball, Harvajan Singh beaten all ends up by it. They tried to take the single. Well, the third umpire wasn't needed. But there was the hat trick, the team hat trick, not Andy Caddick's. Harbhajan Singh, when Zahir Khan came into bat, this is the first thing I think he told Zahir Khan if the ball goes to the keeper, run for it. Alex Stewart has seen it all. He knew exactly what the batsmen were up to. Well prepared to run the batsman down. Gone for a duck, 250 for in. One ball to go. We've had three wickets in a row. Two to the bowler, one to Alex Stewart. The run out, last ball. Slow ball in the air, clubbed and caught. Four wickets in four balls to finish the Indian innings. Andy Caddick. Picks up three wickets in his last over, three and four balls, and in between, a run out. Marcus Soskothic taking the catch. The innings comes to an end. India then, 250 for nine. Well, how often have you seen this? Four wickets of four balls, one run out, three picked up by Andy Caddy. It's again the slow delivery. And because there is that bounce in the pitch, it's working well for Andy Caddick. And every Indian batsman has failed to keep the ball down and not got over it. It's that extra bounce again. So Harbhajan Singh and Srinath walk back as it's been a bit of a disappointing finish after it promised much more. Well, some useful contributions to say the least from Sachin Tendulkar who looked in fantastic form. That was a key wicket for England to uh, slow the rate down. When that rate did slow, Dinesh Monge took his while to get to 32. Raul Dravid showed a lot of patience to start with, ended up with 62 from 72 deliveries. Yuvraj Singh added some acceleration towards the end, burned those wickets right at the end in the final over, meant it was an almost fruitless final over. The final total for India, 250 for nine from their 50 overs. Well, the star of the bowling attack for England on this day, Andrew Flintoff, 10 overs, two maidens, two for 15. Without him, that momentum might well have stayed with India, and the final total might well have been a lot higher than the 250. Caddick and Anderson expensive today. Caddick picking up those wickets in his final over, still three for 69. And then the rest of the overs shared out between Irani and Collingwood. 250 for nine is what England managed to just restrict India to in the end. So the target, 50 overs available to England, that was confirmed by the match referee. The required rate, 5.02. The target, 251. Marcus Jaskothic is uh, out there opening the innings, as is his wont. His partner is Nick Knight. Very quickly out of his box, and that would have been all over. In fact, it is all over. Brilliant fielding. Nick Knight has, in effect, run himself out. Looking for that quick single. I think that halfway down there, he suddenly realised that he might just have misjudged that. It needed a direct hit. India got it. And the first wicket falls from the first ball of the second over. And he picked the wrong fielder, Nick Knight. Mohamed gave the quickest off the turf. And one of the problems this man has been having with direct hits is missed a few in this tournament, but not this important one. Just have a look at Nick Knight. At least a four yard shot of that crease. What you would call a suicide at this stage. Gone for one. The score six for one. Well, there's the boundary that might just change things round for Marcus Truscothic. That could be out. 
That's the end of uh, Triscothic. Zaya Khan gives up trying to get him outside the off stump, drops it short. And it came right off the splice of the bat. The simplest of chances. Triscothic is gone. The Indians are especially delighted because this is a planned dismissal. They were going to use the short pitcher against Triscothic. Ajit Agarkar had done wonderfully well for India with the short ball, getting Triscothic out at least twice in the one day series. Zaire Khan bowls a similar delivery. No any other middle of the bat. Tendulkar takes a simple catch. And the agony ends for Triscothic. Gone for eight. The score 18 for two. He's got that away fine. And will find the boundary. That's pulled away. Didn't quite time it, but he'll still get a boundary, Collingwood. Now that's again taken the outside edge. Nera is... Fine shot. That's a very well played. It's Collingwood looking good. 84 for 5, 25 overs have been bowled. Harbhajan Singh continuing. And that's a big one. Clears long on. For 6 for Flintoff. Bowler with pace. Creating mayhem. Irani Nom, England, 107 for 8. Well, that's found a way through. Through Raul Dravid. Four runs to Andy Caddick. And that has gone far enough. First ball of his spell goes over square leg for six. That's going to be six more. That's even bigger than the first one, bouncing on top of that roof. That's 50 for Andrew Flintoff. England might be struggling, but Andrew Flintoff himself today has performed as a true all-rounder. And more runs. No, taken at the wicket. Magnificently taken. Virenda Sevag, the catcher. Well, I had four written all over it. Full toss. I'm not sure he got all of it, but he got a fair bit of it, Andy Flintoff. Is. Let's check this out. A little high on the bat, but it still looks as he's going to get past him. He have to take up goalkeeping. Excellent catch. And a fine innings from Flintoff comes to an end. He'll be disappointed he missed out on hitting that one away. 64 from 73. And England have lost their ninth wicket. 162 for nine. That's wrapped on the pads, the finger has gone up, it's all over. A comprehensive win for the Indians. They win by 82 runs. And it's been a great effort, 16 points India now. They join Australia with 16 points in Pule. Well, England a long way short in the end, despite that resistance in the closing stages from Andrew Flintoff. He personally had a very good day with uh, some fine bowling in the first part, some great hitting in the second part, but the top order were blown away. That was the real damage for England. If they were going to get anywhere close to this target, they needed someone in that top five or six to make a suitably big score and someone else to play around, but it wasn't to be. So England bowled out for 168. There's some fine bowling all the way through for the Indians. They started well with Zaya Khan and Javagal Srinath, the experienced Srinath. But things really took off for India when Ashish Nehra was introduced into the attack. Despite the uh, ankle injury that we'd all heard about before the game, he bowled impeccably. He bowled with fire, he bowled with pace and some supreme accuracy too. So wonderful figures for him. Ten overs, two maidens, six for 23. So the final result. India batting first, having won the toss, 250 for nine. England in reply, 168. India winning by 82 runs.